Hello, my name is Jason Boyce and I will be demonstrating to you my student innovation project called the handheld penetration device. The main reason I wanted to do this project for a handheld penetration device was to make a more affordable option out there for small businesses. There's a lot of different handheld penetration devices out here that you could get, but they are really high priced. I just wanted to make a small device that anybody that has a small business would be able to be able to do in less than two hours. The first device I would like to look at would be the Nokia N800. I first saw this device when I was working as a security analyst at my last job. We bought one to test our wireless access points out. It was pretty expensive, so I couldn't quite see the justification for somebody that had a small business to own one like that. As you can see, it has a lot of the same features. It's got Metasploit. It's got all the different tools that you would need to exploit and test your network out. The next thing I would like to look at would be the Kali NetHunter offensive security project that is really allowing us to, to get into these handheld devices and use them as penetration testing devices. What this really gives you is an option to build it to where you have the exact tools that you want to, need, to meet your needs to make sure that it is just perfect for what you want to do in your small business. Some of my restraints that I had throughout this process was finding the right tool or the right device I should say to use. I had a iPod at, when I first started doing this. The iPod was kind of hard to get where I needed from it uh, so I just I went to I tried doing a Kindle Fire uh, I got the Kindle Fire, it just didn't have the speed and the operating system power that I needed. So I tried the Galaxy Note 2. I got it to where I can do some Desploit stuff with it, but I had to run the ARM, I had to run Linux Deploy to run the operating system in the background. And I didn't like that because it was taking up too much processing speed. So I found the, the uh, NetHunter project out there, so I went and got the Nexus 5. You can also run these on a Nexus 7. I just chose the 5 um, for what I was using. Other issues I had was basically just getting it installed and trying to figure out whether I need to use a wireless extended one. Whether I need to figure out whether I need to use a wireless adapter or if I can use the wireless card on the device. Uh, other than that, it was fairly simple. To do. The first demonstration that I would like to show you was, was basically showing you how to just do a basic shell script inside of the device to prove that you can actually write your own scripts and do it inside the device. <clears throat> For this one, I chose to use the Nano, which is the built-in text ed editor for it. And I'm just going to run a basic NMAP scan of my own device. Um, the script is in a, a, a bash shell. It's, it's, it's targeting port 80, port 21, and port 23. This was kind of difficult to do at some points because the part where you have to do control F is is like the down volume button and like a, a number but once I got it down it was easy for me to maneuver around and write it. It's kind of there is another option as far as the keyboard you can uh, build your own um, mod to this where you can actually use an, a, a USB keyboard externally to it. Um, the Nexus 7 one is automatically built into it. Next I will demonstrate to you the actual execution of the script that I just wrote. I named this test SIP. This will show you exactly what the nmap scan that I wrote will give you going after those specific ports and that IP address. nmap is a very key tool to this and it's just in the command line. there. There's GUI ones out there, but this one is just command line driven. We've looked at information gathering. Now let's take a look at what 
vulnerability scanning looks like. We will be using the greenhouse GUI that is part of the open VAS system. You just type in that in the in the GUI and then this is where you just do your scans of all your devices to see what devices that you have in your network that have any vulnerabilities. I'm going to scan one of my computers with it right now to show you exactly how to use it. Basically it's pretty simple. You just type in the IP address and it starts to scan. Then at the top right or left here in a second you'll see the, uh, the users that's, or the clients that's been scanned. It'll give you a report that you can use later in your report that you would want to do for your customer. As we continue on through the IEM process of the technical part, we've gone through information gathering. Now that you've gathered some information, you can look at the vulnerabilities that you might have found. Once you have all that, you start looking at the things that you might be able to exploit. And that is where Metasploit comes in. As you can see on the right, it's got all the different exploits that you can go after. Um, I'm just going to run a basic little nmap scan with it because I'm not real good at all the different Metasploit commands yet. But Metasploit is your friend as far as any kind of exploit you want to take advantage of. As you, can, as you can see, the tool has all the tools you need to get these exploits done. The last tool that I want to go ahead and look at is another exploit. It's under exploits and it's called the social engineering toolkit. I wanted to talk about this because it really shows you the innovative work that they have done to build this. They've already got it where you can just go in and look at all the different custom exploits that they've done for you and then later you can build your own and put them in here and then really make this towards your network. Some ways that you can expand on this project would be to go out and try to get a Nexus 7 tablet or what I would do is go out and get you a Chromebook so you can have your little attack box that you can web from the Kali um, prototype that I've made. You can use that as a, the collection point for the attacks. Another, way, another thing you could do to go out to improve this is to go out to get you some high gain antennas. I got, I got an antenna on the way for me, the Alpha antenna. Um, some of the constraints that I think from this project that I probably should have thought of is that I'm in a field that is continuously growing. It was hard for me to keep up with like all the different devices that people were coming out with. You can just get onto YouTube and right now everybody's just all about the Cali movement to get onto these handheld devices. So in conclusion, the handheld penetration device that I made can be done for less than $200 and less than two hours. Any small business can use it and do it without having to spend an arm and a leg for it. Some things I might do to improve it would be in the future, I'll try to go after the Nexus 7 just for the fact that it's a little bit bigger and you don't have to worry about sticking your fingers and fat finger and stuff. Uh, thank you.